I am called the NYE, the son of the wonderful. We are going to uh, watch um, as we comment about the rebuilding of those um, uh, burned down uh, headquarters, local government headquarters in Anambra State by the hooligans who um, invaded the state um, and Igbo land to cause a lot of uh, problems. So um, remember to share, remember to subscribe. Uh, we will be talking as the um, as the video is being played, so that you can also understand um, the rebuilding process of um, this uh, local um, government headquarters that we are brought down by this uh, uh, agent of uh, agent of uh, destruction and uh, anti development economic development uh, group that um, um, vow that um, the, um, our homeland will not be able to grow. So this is the local government, um, the Newisau local government headquarter that um, the government of Soludo is um, reconstructing. They have almost finished it. Um, the Demli North is also completed, Tatogidi, almost completed. And uh, Aguata has been completed. And uh, very soon they will um, do the one in Ihiala. So um, you could recall that these uh, hooligans uh, cause a lot of devastation. And this devastation has affected them. Um, the administration of uh, some local governments in Anambra State. But uh, Soludo government of Anambra State uh, is determined to change the narrative. And um, our homeland must be peaceful, it must be livable, it must be prosperous. And uh, we in this channel also support people that bring investment, not people that talk about um, chasing the people from our homeland people that are just uh, talking, uh, not building the homeland. So that's what this channel is all about. Sorry, And that's what um, this channel and all the subscribers are looking for a livable and prosperous homeland where we can be proud of to speak that the, our homeland is good. So some of the time people has asked that these people that are doing all those things, have they laid even a foundation of a building in their own land? Have they attracted any investment or anything? You know, you cannot be given what you don't you can um, you don't have. That if you if you think that the homeland can develop, you show by your actions, by the love of the land, by the love of your people, by making sure people have jobs, mobilize the people to come and invest in your homeland not the other way around scaring them away and talking about other things so by so doing you played into the enemies of the land that's exactly what a lot of uh, people subscribers were talking about that because they don't love the homeland the anti demo uh anti development and economic uh, uh, uh of the homeland forces they are forces against it so that's why they are taking some few uh money for here that's why they are taking few money from here and there to cause instability in the homeland so but soludo um government and the people of the anambra state uh decided that um our homeland must must grow strong economically must be peaceful must not uh ha harbor uh nephoros agents nephoros uh people People that uh, do not care for human life, they um, they are of the opinion that uh, uh, our homeland must not allow this again to ever happen again. You know, if it's not the um, the past administration that was so poor in securing this uh, the the homeland, it, it would not have uh, been it would not have actually happened in Anambra State anyway. But um, who um i think the people have learned their lesson 
the state had learned, everybody in Anambra had learned the lesson that we will not tolerate uh, this type of thing again. So, because some people are asking after these uh, years of uh, of foolishness and stupidity, what what is the what have we done? That what we have done is that we actually destroyed our own land by our own selves, and our enemies are nearby laughing and saying how cajoling us and say how foolish uh, people in the homeland has looked that they don't even need to do anything because. The, the 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 people there are basically foolish they can actually uh, burn down everything in their homeland because they are foolish so they don't love their homeland that how can you develop your place by burning everything down so i was talking to somebody and he said to me and this lady this person uh is a lady she's a lady and um she said to me that her group, uh, they don't mind if uh, anything, uh, we've won everything and we rebuild it. I said, why are you thinking like that? That you don't actually think like uh, an Anambra born lady, an Igbo person. How come you are thinking like that? You born all these things, people have building, uh, you know, cause refugees in their own land, cause pain and all those things. And you say you are going to rebuild it from where? When are you going to do all those things? I said, you, what you are saying is not true. It's like somebody on uh, influence of something, which I will not name here. But, and how they were acting, you'll be thinking that they look a little foolish because if you are investing in your own land economically for four years, five years, six years, before 10 years, your homeland will completely develop. That's why we have Igwe, Igwe Bike in enable land so i am very glad that uh, uh, soludo has uh, decided to rebuild some of those things so some of these things they have um destroyed and uh, it will go a long way in bringing life to the communities and uh, helping to this uh, kulono that is uh, uh going on in anambra state so Kudos to the Anambra State Government for continuous uh, doing these things. We must uh, appreciate when the government do the right things and we must criticize them when they don't. So um, we won't be um, all the time criticizing without acknowledging the good things happening. This one is a good one. Uh, kudos to Soludo led Anambra State Government. Kudos to all those people that are working to make sure that our homeland is livable and a prosperous homeland. So we are continuously promoting our homeland. Thank you very much. Remember to share this video. Remember to subscribe. Remember, thank you and see you in the next one. Bye.